Hey, what's up? Pat the Trophy Hunter here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Let's Play Gran Turismo 5 series. In this episode, we're going to do the Alaskan Rally, which is the second uh, event in the Intermediate Gran Turismo Rally events. So, I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. All right, so Gran Turismo Rally Intermediate Events, and we are going for the Alaskan Rally. But first things first, let's go put some snow tires on our Lancia. Now we're not going to need to adjust the power because we're already at 345 HP, which is the limit for this event. Now, just like the Clubman Gravel Rally, this is going to be a five stage event. And the overall time, the fastest overall time will be the winner. So first stage seems pretty fast, fast first sector, technical, middle sector and fast so third sector with a 2.89 kilometer distance. Should be a pretty fast one. So for some reason, I have more uh, difficulty or a harder time if you want on gravel than on snow. I don't know if it's because I'm I'm used to driving in real life on in snowy conditions, but the snow rallies I find are, are fairly easy. Also, the track is very large in the snow rallies. You have a lot of a, a lot of track, so you can go in a bit faster in the corners, and uh, even though it's a bit slippery manage to not hit the barrier so hitting a barrier just like in the clubman uh, or any other rallies that is uh, will give you a five second penalty so you want to avoid that you also want to avoid hitting the other cars because that also gives you a penalty the first sector with a 4.649 lead on first place seem to be catching up to third car which is up ahead which is a good thing whenever you catch up to one of the cars you know you're doing very well sector two with an 8.561 lead on the first place and I'm passing this car just before the end of the stage. And 113.682, which gives us a, a lead of 10.620. So we are 10 seconds, 0.620 ahead of second time. Pretty good, pretty good. All right go for special stage number two okay 4.78 kilometers seems like a very technical first sector and then much easier sectors two and three. Let's see how we do in this one. So, long right hand, put a little kicker at the end. Yeah, so 
like we saw in the map before the start. Sector 1 seems to be quite technical. Uphill into a left, then right. Those are always tricky when you're going uphill like that and you don't see what's on the other side. But we are catching up to the car that left third. So, which indicates to me that we're going to be having a great first sector. Just past them. And you see the track is so wide here. You can take all that track. There's a lot of room. Checkpoint one, 13.683, so we're 13 seconds ahead after the first sector. That's a lot. Nice little slide here, managed to not hit the barrier. Catching up to car number two. Oh, I just clipped the barrier here. Luckily, I didn't get a penalty into sector checkpoint number two, 16.798. A decent lead. That's car that left in second place. And getting to the end of sector three here with our last checkpoint. Time of 2.14.8.27. I'm pretty sure it's good for first place since we passed two of the three cars that were ahead of us. And 21.996. So add that to the 10 seconds we already had. And we're ahead af after two stages by 32 seconds and uh, 616 one thousands. All right. Super uh, special stage number three. What does this one look like? Okay, that's gonna be a fun one. 6.92 kilometers. Look at all those bends and curves. It's gonna be tricky. That one, almost seven kilometers, I guess will take us about three minutes to complete. Especially since it has very little straightaways, a lot of corners and bends and all kinds of stuff. Should be fun though. start. Don't really know where I'm going with that. Kind of a horseshoe curve. And into a left right corner. A lot of twisty twisty corners this uh on the stage. Seems like we're catching up to... Oh. Yeah, there we go. Barrier impact. I need to reverse. So we lose 5 seconds, plus I need to reverse. This is not going so well. I was catching up on car number 3, but... Lost a lot of time here. Let's see. We'll see when we hit the first checkpoint how, how much damage. That did. But again, it seemed to be pretty fast because I'm catching up to the car number three. Alright. 
coming into first checkpoint. And by the looks of the minimap, I'm doing pretty well. Six point sec six nine zero, so about seven seven seconds. Plus we did have a five second penalty. So we would be almost twelve seconds ahead. I didn't think it was going that well. I'm happy. Okay. So I said about three minutes. We're already at two minutes and we just finished sector one. So it's gonna probably be more like in five seconds. Uh, five minutes. Hit the barrier. Didn't get a penalty. So those penalties are really... I don't understand. So sometimes I'll hit the barrier. I'll just barely touch it and get a penalty. Sometimes I run into them like very fast and I don't I don't get the penalty so I, I don't know what, how the game like again here you flip the barrier no penalty I don't know how the, the game evaluates you know, what, what is a penalty and, and what's not just try not to hit the barriers get catching up to car number two Should be passing it right now I don't think we've hit sec uh, checkpoint number two yet. So here you see combination of left, right, left. Just try and go as much in a straight line as you can. In those types of corners, you want to limit the amount of turning that you do. So always aim to go in a straight line as much as possible. And I hit the barrier here. You see, I hit it pretty hard and didn't get a, a penalty. And I think this is our third checkpoint. So I'll probably miss the second one. 354, 172. Okay, almost four minutes. And that gives us a lead of 27 seconds. And first place, total leads 59651 over second place. Going to special stage number four. So I need to screw up pretty bad in the last two stages to ruin a, ruin a 59 second lead. does stage four look all right four sectors in this one last sector looks pretty technical first and third sectors look fast by this point I'm not too concerned I, I made some great time in sector in stage three, which was the longest so far. As usual, a long turn from the start. Little uphill corner. He completely lost control here. I didn't know where I was going. Uphill. And the car just slipped. So we're losing a bit of time here. See how that translate translates into our time when as we head into the first checkpoint. So we're 2.556 seconds behind. Not too bad. Not too bad. We can make up for that in this sector here, which if I recall properly is uh, or seemed pretty fast. I 
think we're catching up to car number three. I just saw it from the corner of the eye. Ahead. And to checkpoint number two. So we were two seconds behind at checkpoint one. And we are now 3.934 ahead. So we made up almost six seconds. one sector and sector three is pretty small pretty short as we're heading into checkpoint number three right now catching up to car number three and now with a 6.958 seconds lead into a very technical sector four if i recall the map properly Car number two up ahead. It's just over that hill. You can see it on the far right of the screen. It does seem like we're going to catch up to it before the end of this stage. A lot of up and down blind corners on this last section. Kind of reminds me of uh, Laguna Seca. That, that, uh, and you see, I hit the wall pretty hard here. Jump on into reverse and go back. I hit the wall twice. Once on the right side and once while backing up. I didn't get a penalty. I really don't know how the game calculates penalties because uh, that would have definitely counted if it was me, in my opinion. But let's uh, accept it as it is. All right, so coming into the last checkpoint, we just passed car number two right before the end. And there we go, four minutes. 10 to 85, which gives us a lead of 19.254 over second place for a combined lead of 1 minute 118.905 with only one special stage remaining, special stage number 5. Special stage number five. Four sectors, one, two, and four seem pretty fast. Sector three is gonna give us a bit of challenge. I think I saw it was almost eight kilometers. And it seems to be getting a bit dark. I don't know if we're gonna go into night. You see the sun is setting on the horizon. All right, let's go. Okay. So the first two sectors, if I recall, were or seemed fast enough, pretty much in a straight line. Slight left hand turn, then we have a pretty good left hander into the first checkpoint. And 4.618 a 
ahead of first into sector two, which is also pretty fast. And we're already at checkpoint number two at the end of this straight line. Corner here, slowing down pretty much. With a seven second flat lead going into sector three, the uh, technical, very technical sector three from, from the looks of it. Catching up to car number three. Okay, we just passed the car number three. Good indicator that we are on our way to a fairly easy win. But anyways, with the lead we have after four stages, I would need a very, 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 very bad run here uh, not to win this event. But you know that since you're watching this, I'm probably gonna win it. Because, you know, I'll show you guys the good ones. Right, catching up with car number three. Oh, slipped around. Or that was car number two, actually. Slipped. Back on track. Got a bit sideways there. After this corner, we are heading into. Oh no, no, there's a fort. This is sector three. So we have a fort sector here. This was the long and technical sector three. Into checkpoint number three. Just passing car number two. We are 19.594 seconds ahead. Pretty much, pretty much guaranteed the win on this stage and on the special event by this time. And only this sector left to complete the event. And checkpoint is right up ahead. And there we go, 3 minutes 36.97. Pretty sure it puts us in first place with a 25.909 ahead of second for a combined 144.814 lead. So this gives us the gold and completes this episode of Let's, uh, Let's Play with Pat the Trophy Hunter.